What's up guys, it's Captain Mix Productions at 72, welcome back to Figure Friday, episode 63 And in today's one we have Han Solo's skiff from 2006 Hey, that rhymes, I think But yeah, before we start, I want to shout out a channel which I shouted out in the last video we made And I'm probably going to butcher the name again But, here's the thing I'm going to try a lot better with this one Well, I've got two that I want to point out so I'm doing this in videos, if I see a Lego channel that has like very few views and very few subscribers I'm shouting them out because some of these channels are actually quite good So today we're shouting out 1999 Lego Fanatic Well shouting him out, he's been doing a series called Building Coruscant and it is actually really really detailed And the videos only get like 40 views and it's kind of sad because these are some pretty good uh, videos Second person we're showing now is How Am I Studios. He um he will be linked down below as well as 1999 Lego Fanatic. I'll be linking both of those channels down below. But yeah, that's gonna be happening. So this is a really cool minifigure. Um there's like one piece of printing on the torso, you're looking at it, there's nothing on the legs, and no double-sided head is like one of the most basic Lego minifigures that you can find. But yeah, there's still something rather cool about this one that I enjoyed. There's just something about it. So this minifigure, of course, is Hanzo Oskiff from 2006. He was available in the... It's the 2006 Java sale board. I can't think of the number. But here's a picture of that set now. So, you, you guys just seen the picture of the Jabba sail barge, which is set 6210 or 6210, however you want to put that. So, this minifigure appeared in nothing else apart from he had one previous version that was close to this. So, after 2006, this minifigure was not seen again for four years, but really they just changed, well, almost everything. Excuse me, a bit tired. I'm filming this at half past eight in the morning. I just wanted to have it out there early, but I have another announcement to make at the end of the video, but yeah. Um, before this, there was a version in 2000 in the Desert Skiff, where he had a yellow head and whatnot. And I'm beginning to think, I don't know why, I don't have an image and I'm not going to pull the book out right next to me for, at the moment, but I'm beginning to think the trousers or the uh, legs were a bit darker. But yeah, let's have a look at this minifigure, because we are... Well, 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 over two minutes in very basic all you have is those lines on the torso representing his shirt no gun holster on the legs I'm just going to zoom out slightly there's nothing else on this minifigure he has that classic hand solo head and hair piece which is I think the head is unique to him I know for a fact the hair isn't because I'm sure there's a Luke Skywalker's with this yeah there is a Luke Skywalker's with this hair piece I should know that but yeah, there's as, much, as basic as this minifigure is, there's still something cool about it. That at least that I think cool about this minifigure. You probably disagree with me, but it's quite a cool one. Now, this is not the most recent version. I'm about to pull out another minifigure. This will not be in every single episode. I know I did it in the last one, but if I have an up-to-date version of a minifigure, I will then show a brief comparison, because said minifigure that I'm about to pull out, pull out will have its own episode. Here's both the minifigs. Okay then, so here's both versions. Right off the bat, you can see multiple differences. So the newer one is the one with the darker legs. Here's a different, the whole minifigure is different. You can see that they represent the same character, but you can see all the clear differences in what's got one thing and what's not got the other. For instance, right, so this version is from 2006. This version is from 2017, so there's an 11-year age gap between them. Obviously, 11 years later, new hair piece, we can have different face printing. And the interesting thing is, they never gave the original one a blaster. Now, they gave the 2017 one the short mini blaster. Fun fact, that blaster was first in the Clone Battle, Clone Troopers Battle Pack and Mandalorian Battle Pack in 2011. was the first time that piece showed up. So, I can understand why they did not give a small blaster to Han in that set. Although, at the same time, that set also comes with handcuffs for Han Solo, which 2006 did not. Although, I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure that piece existed in 2006. 100% sure. Tell me if I'm wrong, but 
I'm confident that peace was was around in 2006. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit more of the minifigures. Um, this hand does come with the double sided face for when he's in the carbonite. But yeah, so you're probably wondering why I'm referring to him as episode 6. One, the set he comes in. Second of all, the didn't have a, like, a Cloud City version of Han Solo, it's the proper one. The, the 2003 Cloud City had the normal Return of the Jedi version of Han Solo with the yellow, which never made sense to me, because in, like, three years before, they had this minifigure with the yellow skin. But enough about that, back to the original minifigure. Okay then, so we're back with the original minifigure that this episode was originally all about. But yeah, I mean he's not the most detailed, he's not, the, but this, I think nostalgia makes me like this minifigure. I got this more minifigure last year and I had never had him before that. But I remember seeing him in like the books and stuff and thinking that's something cool because he didn't have the holster or the gun part. Like he didn't have the gun holster and whatnot. And he's basic yet there's something fun about him, which is something I find rather likeable. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to give him like 10 out of 10. He doesn't hold up till today's standards. I mean, I just showed you 2017's version as far as detail goes, he doesn't hold up, but yeah. So, a quick announcement so this video will probably be up like by 9 o'clock, 10 past 9. But, or at least that's the time zones where I am in the United Kingdom. But these videos will be coming a lot later, like maybe 5 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock now, because now I did start school on Wednesday. But I wasn't in yesterday or today because of the new COVID rules of doing this system. But as of Monday, I'm in every day of the week. Monday to Wednesday, um, 8.45 to 2.30. Sorry, 3.30. And Thursday, Friday, 8.45 to 2.40. So these videos will be coming a lot later. I know you guys have enjoyed them doing it. Like I do these literally right after I wake up. Just to get them, you know, get them done, get them finished, and try and get them out early for all of you. But, yeah, I'm just moving the base point back a bit there. But, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the new format here. I wonder if you guys like the thumbnails. Now, those thumbnails will only be available for certain characters. Like, basically, if a Lego figure was in the Complete Saga or any of, the, like, the early Lego games, there will be an icon picture for them, which is, like, the icons from the games what I've been using for thumbnails. There is one for this minifigure. But, yeah, so... The next week's minifigure is Zam Wessel from 2002. Um, we'll go more in detail on that in that episode. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, check out Hollow My Studios. Remember, I have a gaming channel which you guys can check out, which no one, well, quite a few people have looked at it, but uh, I don't know, I've not uploaded on it for two weeks, so we're going to have to do something about that. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to try and, I'm still going I'm still trying to get a Flavor Force Battle Pack, so who knows, might do that today. See you guys in the next video.